that the better year that Soto has, it might be a better chance that he goes somewhere else. Um, some people talk about this, and I'm sorry to be so base, but they're, they're really talking out of their backside because you, none of us know what he's going to do. So we're all just supposing. But I will tell you this. If you, if you don't learn from history, you're doomed to repeat it. Tell me, and take your time. We're here all week. Tell me the client that had Scott Boris as an agent that took less from one team than was offered by another team. Tell me the client, because I don't think the client exists. Maybe I've missed one. Maybe you'll come up with one. So I think... And again, I, Juan Soto has not tipped his hand, except this way. Think about this. He loved playing for the Nationals. He was comfortable there. Mm -hmm. He liked his teammates. He won a championship there. He was told... Probably loved by the fans. This is a $440 million contract we're giving you. If you don't accept it, we're trading you. He didn't accept it. And he loved playing there. Okay, now, I believe that he is having the time of his life with the Yankees. He likes his teammates. He has a great rapport with the fan base. He's always um, playing around with the uh, the fans in the bleachers and, and the right field. See, all of that. I get it. And he's hitting in front of Aaron Judge, which only makes him better. But we, we just came from San Francisco. The Giants are desperate to sign. They, the Giants can't give anybody their money. They can't give yeah. anybody their money. They're taking their second choices. Every big player they've gone after said no. Aaron Judge could have probably gotten 11 years out of them. But he told he told Hal Steiner, if you go to nine, I'll take I'll take the nine, 360 with the Yankees, which is what the Giants offered. They would have gone to 10, maybe 11. But there's a there's a connection with Aaron Judge and the Yankees. If the if the Giants offer and, and by the way, Juan Soto rakes in Oracle Park. If they offer him sixty million dollars a year, and the Yankees offer him fifty-five, and that's over a fifteen-year contract because he is—he's going to be twenty-six years old. You think he's leaving that much money on the table? No. If the Mets offer him sixty and the Yankees offer him fifty, do you really think? Again, he loves it here, but. He, Tell me the Boris client. That, now, if if the Mets offer a million dollars more, Don and Peter, of course, then I think he stays. Yeah. But if it's a great amount, and you can say, well, why don't Yankees do that? Because sometimes it becomes irresponsible too, and the Yankees are desperate, like the Mets and the well, Giants are. See, that's the thing is that listen, you know that Nancy's a Giant fan. And and I watched all three of those World Series championships with her, and you could not get into the building. It was full every single night on a Tuesday against the Nationals. And now when I turn on a Giants game, this weekend was different with the Yankees being there, Michael, but the place is half empty. Yep. And, and the team hasn't been that bad. It's just that their championships are over, their stars are gone, Posey's gone, and, and Belt is gone, and, and, now, and now they're in a transition period, and they're looking to see if they can't fill that building again. And the Mets are in the same situation. How many times did I say six times they've had an attendance of less than 18,000 after just once since they opened City Field? Like, it's a problem. And, you know, I'm hearing from people, well, one guy can't change everything. Uh, I'm not saying that Soto all of a sudden makes the Mets a competitor, but they're also looking to try to stay relevant. Now, whether it works or not, I don't know. And you know what? As a Met fan, I'm not sure I want to give them $60 million a year. But the whole idea of Steve Cohen was that the money is no object, and he doesn't mind the luxury tax and all that, and he wants to go out and build a champion. Why not go out and get one of the best players in baseball to do it? But this idea that that he wants to be a Yankee and he's going to turn down tens of millions of dollars to stay a Yankee, I hope you're right, Yankee fans, but he's got Scott Boris as his agent, and so that tells me he wants to get as much money as humanly possible, and I would think that there is a point where dumpster fire or not, he is going to go for the highest dollar. We're in the middle of the pinstripe report brought to you by 365. There's another narrative that really gets me too, Don. Hmm. Well, why why would he leave you know the, the the glorious situation that is the Yankees, and go to a dumpster fire like the Mets? Well, the answer is, if you're a great player and you're an alpha male, you think that you could change things. Now it's hard in baseball, but if you add Juan Soto to anything, that thing is going to get better because Juan Soto is transcendently great. So 
Uh, I just uh, he's going to turn down Steve Cohen's, you know, seven hundred million dollar contract because he doesn't want to go to the the cesspool that is the Mets right now. Well, he's probably thinking if I go there, you know what? It's not a well, cesspool. And the idea is to try to get out from under it, and then the Mets. As bad as the Mets are, and listen, there is a lot of wrong with the New York Mets right now. It's not that long ago they won 101 games. They went to a World Series in 2015. Like so, if you make the right decisions, you can get up from this. You know, so it's not like a team that's never won or a team that is never coming close and is always an embarrassment. They're an embarrassment right now, but you're right. I mean, I'm sure Juan Soto figures, well, they're not going to be an embarrassment anymore. Anywhere I go, I've got a chance to win. And they were competitive in San Diego, despite the fact that they didn't win anything. But they were competitive and certainly won a World Series already with the Nationals. That's the other one. Doesn't he want a ring? Well, he already has a ring. Right. He has a ring. So, uh, And I'm sure he wants to win more rings. But you know how confident these athletes are, Michael. He probably figures, I'll go to the Mets. I've got an owner that spends a ton of money. And maybe guys will want to come to play with me. And I'll turn it around. and And I'll be the focal point for this organization finally getting it right. So... And none of this is an insult to the Yankees. But now, at some Jar point, from there might Oz be too much. just, just um, DM me and said, Jose Altuve signed an extension with the Astros without going to free agency, and he's represented by Boris. Yeah, if you take control of something and you say, I, this, this is the only place I want to stay, then All Boris right. is going to get you the best deal. But they've turned down 440 which would have averaged out, the length of the contract would have averaged out to $29 million a year, which would have been a steal for the Nationals. You turned down 440 two years ago from a place that you love. So he's not Jose Altuve. He is of the mindset, right. I'm going to make more money than any human well, being who ever played this game before. Now, if that's the case in, like with Altuve, then Soto could go to Boris and say, listen, I want to stay with the Yankees. Start negotiating with him now. Right. I'm not going to give him a discount. And if we can't come to a meeting of the minds, then I will test free agency. But start talking to him. Let's get something done. But all, ev- ev- all indications are he is going to test free agency. Now, maybe that's to drive the price up for the Yankees, which ultimately would be the answer. But I think Soto has to realize, unlike Yankee teams of the past that there is a line of demarcation that can get crossed here. So once he tests free agency, it is possible the money might get ridiculous where he would have to make a decision on taking a major haircut to stay. But if he wants to stay, then then, uh, do what Altuve did. Make make a deal before you test free agency. And he's not doing it. Because Altuve only spent time with the Astros. This is the third team for Soto. And again, he loves it here. Right. But he loved but, it in Washington, as you yeah, said. Yeah, he loved it in Washington. He really loved it in Washington. So uh, I, I just think everybody has to pump their brakes. Like Tim Kirchin answered it in a very responsible way. I don't know. Yeah. I think it's going to start know. with a five and, and maybe it goes to a six. None of us know. But I do know this. If you don't study history, you're doomed to repeat it. He turned down 440 from a team that he loved. So he's going to go where the most money is. And if it's $1 million a year, I don't think that will make a difference. I don't think if so either. If it's $10 million a year, mm. I'm sorry, that it's, makes it's, a difference. It's all the difference. Not not some difference. That's all the difference. And also the question will be, will, will Hal put his money where his mouth is, no pun intended, with his conversation about what he's willing to spend or not spend? Was that something that you say early in the season, and by the time we get to free agency, maybe he feels differently? Or is he really trying to keep the numbers as low as he says he is? Now, there is a way to do that, and we'll talk about that when we get back. That's the Pinstripe Report brought to you by Bet365 or whatever the sport, whatever the moment. 